Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have got the cutest collections from Dottie Designs. These are diamond card kits. It's diamond painting and they make the most adorable cards. Look at this one with all that dimension on there. You can even be, you can hear it. It's so fun to put together. I can't wait to show you each kit and how they work. So come back and play with us. So I'm going to go through each one of these with you. This one is the adorable little teapot, the great little tea scene. It's got everything you need to create these beautiful card. And you get one card in each package. Here's the sweet little owls, which is perfect for fall, but yet year round, right? And then this one is the one I showed you here. This is the florals on black, which is so pretty. I love that one. And then we've got pastel florals, pastel flowers. This one's red flowers and this is purple flowers. All right, so I think I'm going to open one of these up and we're gonna do the teapot. And well, before I do that, let's show you some cards. So I've already showed you this one, okay? And this one, I added just a few little things to just add an additional sparkle. I added some little border dazzle here. These are thin line. These are pastel and pearl thin line dazzle stickers. And I used the pink. Let me see where is it? Yeah, there's a nice bright pink there that I added to the top and the bottom. And then get well, some darling little gold. <clears throat> Excuse me, a darling little gold. These are um, tiny words and phrases dazzle stickers, which are just perfect size for these. The Get Well came from this gold section right here. And then just a little sweet gingham bow from our gingham bow, gingham ribbon collection. And that's all there was to it, you guys. So very, very quick and easy. And then, well, I wouldn't say it's quick, actually. Um, I took this with me on vacation and I timed myself and it took me about 90 minutes sit here and put these on there and it was a very enjoyable aesthetically pleasing 90 minutes and I really enjoyed that and what's great about the kits was I didn't have to bring anything with me I just brought the kit I didn't need scissors I didn't need glue I didn't need anything and I just sat there on the porch in the evening and I just did my little dotty and then when I came home then I could add these elements to it and they traveled very very nicely all right so then we've also got I did this one in the pastel flowers. So cute, oops, oops sideways. Um, so this one, you can turn them in really this way or this way, I chose this way. Put a little celebrate, this is from our primary collection, Script Greeting Dazzles, and then just added a little 1 8 inch ribbon bow there. And I found using little zots, adhesive zots, um, worked great to attach these. And then, oh, the sweet little owls. So cute. I love this one. Once again, I used the pastel and the pastel and pearl script greetings, pastel and pearl thin border dazzle stickers, rather, along the top and bottom, and then added one of those little tiny words and phrases right there. So cute, and I love, makes a little sound. All right, so let me take a look at this kit. This is the teapot. As I said, I took three kits on vacation with me and in the evening when I just wanted a little relax or was watching a movie that I'd already seen before that, you know, you can have something playing in the background like a podcast or listen to the radio. That's what I did and I really enjoyed it. So it comes with all of the little different flat back beads and all of these colors. Look at that. Okay, so everything you need there. And then you're going to open this up. And this is the little applicator. This is the wax that you kind of scoop up and it makes the tip of the applicator tacky so that you can pick things up easily. These are extra little um, Ziploc kind of bags that you can put your beads in when you're, you're not done working with them. You can just take the beads that are here and dump them into the tray and zip them up, okay? And then of course this is the little tray that has this nice little grid on it. And so let's get to it. So, um, oh, let's talk about the card. So let's zoom in here and you can see all over the image you have got the alphabet numbers, alphabet on there. And it's exactly like paint by numbers that we loved to do when we were kids, except it, this is adding little diamonds by the letter. And it works just that way. 
you peel off this backing, okay? Now, the, it's tacky, it's very, very sticky, actually. But only on the image part, not over here, not on the part that doesn't have the numbers. So, I'm gonna put this back, and I'm gonna demonstrate. Let's see, what color? I think, let's do A. A are the little pink flowers. So you're just gonna, these are perforated. Okay, and then you're just gonna tear it right there and pour these in. I don't need scissors or anything, nothing. Now, what you wanna do is to make all of these kind of flip upwards, you shake them. And then they will flip up in the tracks so that they are right side up so it makes them easier to work with. So I'm gonna take this one, I've already got my little tacky stuff on. So your little wax, it has a little plastic cover on the front and back of this, if you can see. I just kept it on just like that, and then I just scooped some off of my sides there. And you just want wax kind of at the tip there. See that? And then what you're going to do is, gonna put this out of the way a little bit because here's what happened to me <laughs> I had this peeled back and this was too close and I flipped it accidentally and the beads went flying on this and stuck to it to the wrong places I was able to get them off quite easily but it was just like they sp <laughs> it was just like spilled and it was a mess so yeah I like to now keep it out of the way up here you're gonna keep this um, the sheet of, it, of um, acetate right on there and you're gonna peel back just to work on the areas like this, okay? So I'm gonna work on these little ones right here and I'm gonna just gonna take this, if we can get this in the frame, you're gonna take this, pick one of these up and you're just gonna tap it right there onto that letter A and we're gonna keep going here just like this, whoops, I missed it, just like that. And I just found it very easy to just visit or, like I said, listen to the radio, listen to a podcast. I think I watched a movie like Jaws or something like that that I'd seen 50 times. It's just playing in the background. Do you ever like to watch a movie that you've watched many, many times? So you really don't have to pay attention, but it's on in the background and it's just nice. I don't know that Jaws is a nice one to play, but we were at the beach, it seemed appropriate. So, <laughs> there we go. So yeah, that's how that works. And then you would just take this. I like to do all of one color that I'm working at. So in fact, I wouldn't even stop in this color until all of my little A, pink A's were all taken care of, okay? Then I would just, take these and put these in a little Ziploc or put them back in their original baggie, just like this, and then move on to the next color and do that completely. And it's just very simple. And as you are working down, some people like to start here at the top and then switch back and forth to colors and just move their way down. I find it's best to work with one color at a time and do it completely. If you're working down here, you lift this up. If you're working over here, you lift this up. It was really no problem at all. And I had a great time doing it. So you guys, we've got a fantastic money saver on these kits. They are so much fun to work with. I think you're really gonna enjoy them, especially for the fall and winter months. Definitely grab these. Got a great deal on them. And as I said, I think you're really going to enjoy them. So definitely check out that money saver. It's right over there on the right-hand side of our screen. This one right here. And um, if you're watching us on YouTube, then um, look below the description box and you'll find a link that'll take you to the Paper Wishes webisode page. Click on that and you can see all the supplies that we use down below the video and that great money saver. And hey, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. It helps people find our channel and subscribe. We do four to five videos a week and I'd hate for you to miss anything. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.